Congressman Dan Beneshik was in Marquette this afternoon. Tonight, Fox UP reporter Rachel Droz spoke with him and tells us about Beneshik's thoughts on the three terms he served in the U.S. House of Representatives and the hopes he has for his successor. Congressman Dan Beneshek's time in the House is coming to a close in just a few months. He says his biggest accomplishment in Congress has been serving Michigan veterans. We had uh, 12 veteran assistance fairs across the district where we got uh, benefits to over a thousand veterans that attended. Uh, I wish I could have done more at the national level to change the VA to make it more efficient and uh, better for our veterans and that something that uh, I hope that the next guy will continue. There are three Republicans and two Democrats running for Michigan's first congressional district in the August primary. Beneshek is endorsing current state senator Tom Casperson. I think Mr. Casperson uh, best personifies, frankly, uh, Northern Michigan values. Uh, you know, he's a former logging truck driver. He's f familiar with uh, hardworking people here in Northern Michigan. I think he's done a good job in the Senate, and uh, I think he's the guy that'll do the job. In addition to improving accessibility to the VA, Beneshek says jobs and the economy need to be a focus. In Traverse City or Marquette, you know, it's not too bad around here, but the remainder of my district, uh, it's pretty tough around. And, uh, you know, right now we got a little bit of boost in the summer because we got some tourism going on, but it's, it's hard for people to make ends meet, frankly. And we need to change the way Washington works to make it easier for people in northern Michigan to get a good job and get raises. Beneshek says one way to change the way Washington works is by electing Donald Trump. I think he's the best guy to change what's happening in Washington. And uh, we certainly need that. He's going to shake things up. He's not politically correct. Uh, he's out there. He says what it is. And I'm looking forward to the election. Rachel Droz, Fox CP News, Marquette.